Hello boys and girls and welcome to Science 101. In this video you will learn about the scientific method and the steps you take to complete it. We will also be doing an experiment to help better understand the scientific method. We will talk about safety first. You're probably waiting for me to say don't try this at home, but not today. I want you to follow along and do the experiment with me. Although you may want some adult supervision because this one is going to get messy and you're not going to want to clean it alone. When we do the experiment, you can pause and rewind the video as much as you need so you do not fall behind. Before we learn about the scientific method, let's talk about the materials needed to do this at home. You will want to print out the scientific method worksheet to fill out while you are doing the experiment. I wouldn't wear that new shirt that your mom bought you. Wear something that you don't mind getting sticky. A 20 ounce bottle of Diet Coke. A 2 liter bottle of Diet Coke. A pack of Mentos. Your science goggles. You want to protect your eyes at all times. And last but not least, your brain. Now that you have all your materials, let's start learning about the scientific method. The first step is stating the problem, which is basically like asking a question. So, since I told you that we will have two different sizes of Diet Coke, our question is going to be, will the Diet Coke have a bigger explosion with the 20 ounce bottle or the 2 liter bottle? Write your question on your worksheet. Our next step is to formulate the hypothesis. So which one do you think is going to be bigger? I'm going to guess the 2 liter bottle. So my hypothesis will be the 2 liter bottle of Diet Coke will cause a bigger explosion than the 20 ounce bottle of Diet Coke when I drop a Mentos candy into each one. Did you formulate your hypothesis yet? If so, don't forget to write it down. Step 3. Design the experiment. This is where the fun part happens. First, you want to pick a good place to do this experiment. I'm going to perform this experiment on a school basketball court. Third, line up your Diet Coke bottles a foot or two away from each other. Three, get your Mentos candy out. Get it ready to put in your Coke. You can have one for each Diet Coke, or if you want to see a super explosion, you can have two each. I am going to do two. Or the two liter. 
Well, that was exciting. Sometimes the experiment doesn't always work the first time. You may have to get a new bottle of Diet Coke and try again. Step four, collecting the data. Be sure that you write down all of the data or information that could affect the answer to your question from step one. Let's go back and ask ourselves the question again. Will the Diet Coke have a bigger explosion with the 20 ounce bottle or the two liter bottle? What did you observe? In my experiment, the smaller bottle, the 20 ounce, did not go as high as the bigger one, the two liter bottle. Why do you think this happened? Since this leads us to our conclusion, we don't need to collect a lot of data. We could tell just by observing the experiment that the bigger the Diet Coke bottle, the bigger the explosion. Step five, our conclusion. After seeing the small Diet Coke bottle and the large Diet Coke bottle explode, we could tell that the larger Diet Coke bottle had a much bigger explosion than the small Diet Coke bottle. So, therefore, my hypothesis was correct. Let's restate the hypothesis. The two liter bottle of Diet Coke will cause a bigger explosion than the 20 ounce bottle of Diet Coke when I drop a Mentos candy into each. Thank you boys and girls for joining me in Science 101. Science rules.